we all must have heard that uh, the velocity of light is independent of this of the inertial frame we take that is uh, if we glow a torch and measure the velocity of light it will be around 310 raised to 8 meter per second square but the surprising thing is that if we move uh, at a velocity uh, compared to this torch and still and observe this velocity of light and measure it uh, it will still be 300 raised to 8 meter per second square so this is a surprise result why doesn't the velocity of uh, the light relate to to the velocity of the observer this is because of the invariance uh, of the electromagnetic equations uh, uh, with respect to the elect uh, with respect to inertial frames uh, so for example uh, if we have a train car uh, with a coil and we move this train car uh, through a region with a magnet so this is an example i have taken from griffith's textbook so if we move this car there is a magnetic field here so when we move this there will be a emf and a current produced in this coil but with respect to a person on this uh, on this train uh, these electrons are stationary and uh, it is the changing magnetic field producing and uh, the rate of changing magnetic field we you know that from Ampere's law uh, uh, the Faraday's law changing magnetic field produces an electric field so it is this changing magnetic field that produces this electric field but from an outside perspective uh, these charges are moving and charges and moving charges uh, experience a cold, uh, force called magnetic force and it is this magnetic force that pulled uh, this uh, current through this coil and uh, made this emf so both persons uh, measure the same emf uh, the emf will be the uh, same for these two persons but the cost for that uh, uh, emf will be different for uh, two persons the electromagnetic force combined the, uh, the electronic and magnetic fo field force are different uh, with respect to different observers but uh, uh, if we combine that the electric and magnetic force it will be same to all observers uh, i i can uh, give another example here uh, with f2 positive charges in a spaceship so if we consider this frame as dash the moving frame as dash it is moving with the uh, velocity v with the respect to a person on earth uh, which we call this frame s so these two charges will have an repulsive electrostatic force from this frame of the earth this that force is uh, gamma k q by r square uh, this gamma is because uh, this uh, it have an this electric field when moving this electric field will be closer together uh, for, uh, when looking from this earth so it will have a more attraction so this gamma factor here and uh, there will be no magnetic force uh, there, there will be an additional magnetic force here which will be equal to uh, we know that from biot savart law uh, it is it will be equal to mu naught by 4 pi k or mu naught by 4 pi um, q by q v square by r square so this is this uh, magnetic force uh, it will be uh, attractive in the opposite direction of the electrostatic force so it will be opposite minus mu naught by 4 pi q v square by r square but from this perspective in this spaceship there is no magnetic force because it is not moving so the force uh, in this frame will be equal to only the electrostatic force that is k q by r square so we see a difference here this is k gamma k q q gamma k q by r square plus minus gamma mu naught by 4 pi q v square by r but this is k q by r square so it seems that uh, this force uh, the force equation has uh, had has to be modified here but look closely 
if we take this gamma outside we get kq pi r square minus mu naught by 4 pi q v square by r square there is, there is an r square here so what is this uh, if we we can divide this equation uh, on, uh, with uh, epsilon 0 and divide it with epsilon 0 so what do we get this is uh, for 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is k this is minus k kq by r square minus k this is mu naught epsilon 0 mu naught epsilon 0 is equal to 1 by c square so k q b square by r square c square okay so there we can take this k q by r square uh, outside and we have 1 minus v square by c square and what is 1 minus v square by c square we know that gamma is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus v square by c square so gamma square is equal to 1 by 1 minus v square by c square so 1 minus v square by c square is equal to 1 by gamma square so kq by r square into 1 by gamma square and additionally we have a gamma here so 1 gamma will cancel and we will have 1 by gamma into kq by r square so the force in this frame force from this frame force from the frame on earth is 1 by gamma of the force from this frame on uh, in frame f dash is the force uh, uh, with respect to the person of the spaceship and f is the force with respect to the person on this uh, on the earth so the even if the uh, force equation has to be modified in order to accumulate uh, relativity the the form of this uh, electromagnetic equation is the same in both cases the, we, that uh, uh, doesn't need to be modified so uh, these uh, electromagnetic equations and uh, the electromagnetic force equations doesn't need to be modified and we know that uh, the, uh, from this Maxwell's equations, delta D is equal. This is the uh, Maxwell's equations in space, in vacuum, free space. So there are no charges here. So uh, change in magnetic field produces an electric field, and we know that uh, uh, change in electric field produces a magnetic field. So these are the Maxwell's equations, and from this Maxwell's equations we get that velocity. We get the velocity of light. So these Maxwell's equations and uh, the electromagnetic uh, equation is same irrespective of the velocity of the uh, observer and hence the velocity of light is also invariant under Lorentz transformation.